Hello, uh, I'm Ben. In a previous YouTube video, I said I wanted to put up a video on how to make my favorite bluebird house. So this is my bluebird house video. I love this bluebird house because it's the easiest and cheapest one in the world to make. Uh, it could be possibly a project for a, a teenager if you like. First, I'll show you the things I've uh, the uh, equipment and the wood. Got a drill. Instead of drill bits, I've got uh, five two and a half inch screws. I think this is nine two inch screws. You don't have to use screws. You can put it together with uh, number eight finishing nails or with ring shank nails. I like screws. They hold it together nice and tightly. This is a screw eye. It's going to be used as the uh, the door latch. Uh, here I have a counter sink. You don't have to have uh, one of these, but it drills the pilot hole and makes a, a nicer finished project, product, as we'll see. This is for drilling the hole, the one and one half inch hole. It makes the job a lot easier. Uh, you don't have to have one, but if you're using a, uh, a powered hand jigsaw, you gotta get it right to about an inch and a half. Too small and they can't get in. Too large and you can get some birds you don't want, like starlings or whatever. 3 8 inch dowel. Uh, this is a spatula, but you need a little section about a 7 inch piece of 3 8 inch dowel. Going to be a spacer, not part of the birdhouse. Now for the wood. It uses ordinary 1x5 uh, board. This is a pine board. It cost me $6.50. I've got it marked off here with the parts that you need. So let's start at, uh, start at this end. Two pieces, uh, 10 inches for the sides, a 10 inch piece for the front, and as you can see, the hole, the one and a half inch hole, is two and a quarter inches down from the top edge of that board. Nine inches for the top. There's going to be a four by four inch floor with the corners cut off. That's to provide a little drainage for water uh, in case it gets in there. I don't know if it will. Maybe air flow, but I doubt that uh, much air is going to flow after the bird nesting material is in there and a 16 inch piece for the back. Okay, let's uh, go offline. I'll cut this up and come back and finish it up. I wasn't drinking, I swear. That's a one by six bo pine board, it's not a one by five. And yes, that's a spoon, not a spatula. Anyway. Hello. Do I look older? Several days have gone by. Here is the screwed together bird, uh, bluebird house. A couple of quick notes on putting it together. First, I made a mistake on that piece of wood where I showed the bottom as four inches square. It's not four inches squared, it's four inches by the full width of the one by six. Um, the door hinges like this, as I may have indicated before. Um, all these screws, I decided to go with two inch screws all the way around. The longer ones just weren't necessary. Um, one little note is um, when the door is closed, it's very close to the roof, only on one corner. So you have to kind of sand around this edge just a little bit because it's out of the way as that gap enlarges. And that's the air uh, flow for the birds. The bottom has the four corners cut off, as I mentioned. You should cut it in, oh, approximately a half an inch, maybe a tiny bit more. Like I said, it's gonna get kind of blocked up by all the bird uh, nesting material. Um, this Right up here, there's a crack because, of course, it's not square to that board, it's just tilted. If you wanna get fancy, you can cut the board to make it uh, fit real tightly, but I never have. There's a little bit of a gap there, which I've, um, you know, I've sealed it up with a little bit of caulk. I've used paint. I've used uh, contact cement, whatever. But, but I, um, I do go along there and seal that. I just picture rain going in right along the back. When we put the back on, you, uh, it, it extends, of course, below and above. That's just so you have additional space of wood 
to mount the thing somehow. Uh, something I didn't mention. I years ago I learned that you put a little ladder near the uh, for the for the baby birds inside and in the first inch or so. There's going to be nest material way up to here. It's just so I don't know if they need it, but it's uh, I picked it up somewhere. And so I have done it several ways. This time I put several staples, just so they have a little grip for their, uh, like a little ladder to get up. Other times I put little uh, grooves in the wood there. I uh, put a little nail, I put a nail in, uh, not a, a real small one, bent it over, whatever. So that's, is up in there. Ah, I drilled pilot holes for all these screws. And as you might be able to see, I countersunk them to make it look a little nicer. They're all the same except for this screw and this screw, which are the hinge screws. So after drilling the pilot hole, I drill the outside hole larger so this kind of moves nicely. Uh, last, the idea of the, uh, this was just my way of latching it. Uh, there could, you know, you could do it so many different ways, but uh, I screw that in there. I drilled a little hole uh, to make this uh, not rack the thing, just fit in there snugly. And uh, but you do it some other way. You put a little twister, you put a nail, whatever. I like this. It's just neat. I've done it a number of different ways. I get bluebirds every year, and. Uh, the other thing I get is uh, tree swallows, but I enjoy it a lot.